Are you serious? Explosion! We don't want this to happen. You're looking at a picture from 35 years ago, Mount St. Helens, when it erupted enormously back in 1980. Well, Mount St. Helens is rumbling again. Tremors are being felt, and there's a hint that magma is being injected. We're getting reports right now. Could Saint Mount St. Helens erupt again? Uh, the eruption, of course, was on May 18, 1980. It claimed 57 lives and caused serious damage to homes and infrastructure. Now scientists have revealed that the volcano could possibly erupt again. It is shaken. It is quaking. It is rumbling. And... Uh, based on the information, uh, the future is based on findings of a pioneering $3 million study of the volcano's plumbing system. Geologists who studied the volcano have found a second enormous chamber lying between 7 to 23 miles beneath the surface. This massive pool of molten rock was found connected to a smaller chamber lying directly beneath the volcano. So how these two chambers are connected is helping scientists understand the sequence of events prior to 1980's eruption, whose strength of explosion destroyed the topmost peaks of the mountain, matching the newly discovered magma reservoirs with earthquake data, also sheds light on how the deadliest eruption in U.S. history occurred. Now, the researchers said that the series of tremors that occurred in the months leading up to the 1980 eruption have been caused by magma pumping from the lower to the upper chamber of the volcano, which caused the pressure inside the upper chamber to dramatically increase, resulting in a deadly explosion. Folks, this same thing is happening again. Of course, we can only now understand that those earthquakes are connecting those magma reservoirs. And this time, the reservoirs are huge, way bigger than the first time. In other words, if this is leading to another Mount St. Helens moment, it is bigger and badder than ever. Now, you have to understand, while that's going on, there's been earthquakes recently on Mount Rainier. Both of these volcanoes are in Washington State. And not far from there, folks, is that super volcano up there at Yellowstone. So when you look at these things and you start thinking about, uh, you know, some of the, uh, the, the visions that we're seeing, uh, you know, you begin to think about it and start asking yourself, like William Branham, who saw America in ashes from coast to coast. You start wondering what all that means. Well, I know one thing. We know that the Bible says that this earth will be destroyed. It's going to melt with a fervent heat, Peter said. It's going to be burnt up. Are you saved? This is a serious time now we're in. Just look at all the apocalyptic signs that are taking place simultaneously. This year, we've had more volcanic eruption than any year in history in the world. We've had more earthquakes over 6.0 than ever before in a single year. Yesterday, we had two of them, 6.1, 6.4, both in Indonesia. We've had unbelievable cyclones and, and uh, typhoons and hurricanes, especially in the Pacific and the ring of fire is just that, on fire. We have witnessed extreme weather conditions of biblical proportions. I mean, stuff you never heard of. I'm going to give you an example right now. There's a severe, right now, it's forecasting for this Wednesday in America. Severe storms. Tropical storm Kate, as well as snow, as well as tornadoes and uh, extreme strong winds, excessive flash flooding, all are expected to happen this week in America alone. And I'm understanding that Yemen's being hit again with another major tropical storm out there from the Arabian Sea. And we had a river of hail flowing through Saudi Arabia last week. And 10 years worth of rain fell in Saudi Arabia in two days. 
There is, are, are you serious? Something biblical is going on here with the signs of the second coming of Christ. Don't miss today's live broadcast, 12 p.m. Eastern. My website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. You don't want to miss it. We've got so much to cover. It's unreal. Are you serious?